In case you haven't seen yet, Google Search Console just released like a brand new update to their insights tab. And so regardless, if you are a small business owner, maybe dabbling with SEO yourself, maybe you're an SEO professional looking at your own website or for clients, or maybe you're just a website owner and content creator that wants to see the back end of their data, this tab is going to be wildly beneficial for you. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah Magazine, an SEO consultant and educator. And on this channel, I like to simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're gonna go behind the scenes of Google Search Console's new updated insights tab. So if you don't already have Google Search Console set up for your website, pause this video, click the link in the video description box below, set up Google Search Console and submit your sitemap. Then you're gonna wanna give it a couple days for the data to process and then come back to this video. If you already have Google Search Console set up and you're ready to roll, I think that you're going to love this new update. It really does make the data a whole lot easier to look at, which like, what more can we ask for? You know what I mean? Okay, so without further ado, let's kick it into the screen share. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is log into your Google Search Console account. Make sure that you have the correct domain name selected up here and make sure that you are logged into the correct Gmail account. If you don't have both of those things correct, you're not gonna be able to see your data, okay? So essentially what we're gonna take a look at is the brand new Insights tab making its debut on the left-hand menu. So previously you could actually look at this information if you were hanging out in the overview tab and you clicked right here into explore your insights, but like explore, it, it just doesn't sound fun. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people just kind of overlooked this because it, it didn't really draw very much attention to it, but now it lives in the left-hand menu. So let's click on it. And it's beautiful. Take a look at this. Like all of our data looking practical, looking actionable. It feels a little less overwhelming than diving right into the performance tab right here. But I will say if you want to get the most out of the insights tab, you're gonna have to get comfortable with performance, but Insights is really good, like I said, at just getting that quick snapshot. So if you only have one minute, two minute, five minutes to check in on your data, this can be a really good place to hang out. So we can mess around with the time frame that we wanna look at data here, and then you'll see your content, like your top content, you'll see it trending up and trending down. So you can click on both of those. And then if we scroll down, we'll also see queries leading to your site, AKA keywords, key phrases, things that people are typing into Google in order to find your website in search results. So we have the top options here and then we have trending up and trending down, okay? So this information, like I said, bird's eye view, very, very helpful at helping you make decisions, okay? So if I I'm looking at this content and I'm seeing things trending up, maybe that's a sign for me to take this content and repurpose it on other social media platforms. Because it's like, oh, maybe this topic, maybe this idea is like really popping off on Google. Okay, then my social media audience would really love it too. And then if we're taking a look at trending down content, this is where we're gonna probably find priorities to improve content on our website. So I will say, on this blog, like this blog in general, I have not updated or created new content since 2019. So the fact that there's even anything trending up is bananas to me and just goes to show like the sustainable nature of SEO when you create really helpful content. I'm interrupting this video really quick because I created something super awesome and I wanna share it with you. So if you need help planning out your SEO keywords for your blog posts, for your product pages, for your homepage, for any page on your website, then definitely check out my SEO keyword planner. It's a five page editable workbook created in Google Sheets that will help you brainstorm, organize data, and strategize your keywords accordingly. I include tips, 
best practices, and examples to help you get started. Click the link in the video description below to check it out. But let's say that I wanted to revive this old blog. I would probably come back into the insights tab, take a look at what's trending down, ask myself, are these a priority? Are these something that I really want to prioritize moving forward? If the answer is yes and they're trending down, it's going to be worth it to go back in and to either re-strategize or add new helpful content, rejudge them a little bit and dive into the data a little bit more. But if you're confused on like, I don't even know what this page is, you can click this link to open up that specific blog post in a new tab just to see like what URL Google Search Console is actually talking about. And then you can even click into things. So this is where I said that like the insights tab and their performance tab kind of play really well together because the insights tab, like I said, it's really good at giving that overview. But if you want to dive deeper into the content, then it's going to bump you into this performance tab. And then you'll be able to see the more granular data right up here at the top. So it's comparing the last three months to the previous three months before that for that page that we clicked into, okay? So it automatically checks the boxes of total clicks and total impressions. If you'd like to look at the other data options, you can turn them on by clicking them in the top graph here, but the data in the table below can just get a little messy if we're doing that. So we're just gonna keep these two things checked and then we'll be able to scroll and see what is happening that's making that specific page or that specific blog post trending down for the website, like which keyword is it kind of like dropping out of search results for, or is it numerous keywords? So if we're gonna be making changes on this page, this blog post, we want to find out the information for more of like a keyword by keyword basis and the performance tab and clicking into things from the insights tab is kind of how we do that, okay? So it's kind of hard to see everything in Google Search Console like all at once, especially like I said, when you're like clicking on average position and all of that. So if it makes it easier, you can always zoom out on your keyboard to just have a little bit more space to see everything without having to like scroll over and scroll down and all of that stuff. But that's essentially what I would do if you're seeing information trending down in the insights tab, click on the page, click on the blog post, come over here and check the specific keywords that you are not getting clicks from anymore or the impressions are really dropping. And so for this one, we can see that impressions are really dropping for quite a few of them, which is all kind of compiling and creating that trending down information. So that's how I would use that insights tab to be able to make decisions and then help me kind of prioritize which blog posts I maybe want to update on my website first. But overall, I didn't wanna to go too in depth in this Google Search Console video, but I did wanna show you the different ways that you can use the Insights tab. So have fun clicking around. There's more things happening down here for additional traffic sources and like where your content is coming from and all of that stuff. But hopefully this quick overview about the Google Search Console update was helpful. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, Helpful. give me a really quick thumbs up. The simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful and therefore hopefully pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you have any questions about Google Search Console or the data that you're looking at or anything like that, definitely leave me a comment below this video. I use your comments, your feedback, and your suggestions to inspire new videos on this channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of this video and you're just getting started with DIY SEO, but you want some help navigating the process, then definitely consider downloading my free roadmap to successful SEO. The free SEO guide dives into what SEO is, why it's important, and how search engines work, along with my six-step process to improving your SEO and your rankings. And then finally, I dive into to the three tasks that you can start doing today to get the results that you want from Google. If you want to go ahead and snag this for yourself, then you can click the link in the video description box below, or you can head over to my website at mariahmagazine.com roadmap to download your own copy.